everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Welcome to my studio. I hold in my hands a beautiful Shoreline Gold LSL Satikoi Stratocaster. This one's actually my personal guitar and I thought I'd demo it for you uh, today. Um, let's go right into uh, the specs on this guy. Uh, the body is alder and it's a remarkably light piece of alder. Uh, LSL is really good at hunting down uh, alder that's that's pretty light and it's one of my favorite tone woods for a strat it's a little bit fatter in the mids but it's still a pretty alive sounding uh, wood for the body now the neck the back is maple and you can see it's kind of raw I had them take all the finish off um, I just I kind of like that feel on Stratocasters I don't want that necessarily on every guitar but for some reason on strats I just it's something I like so yeah maple back the fretboard wood is rosewood, um, and I, I kind of prefer rosewood uh, over uh, maple. It's just a little bit softer feel for me. Um, the uh, frets are Dunlop 6105s. The uh, the neck radius is a 10 inch radius, so it's it's. I wouldn't call it a vintage radius, but I wouldn't call it a modern radius either. And that's one of the things I, I really preferred about this guitar is it's it's definitely more of a a vintage style guitar. Um, the pickups, uh, the single coils, are the 60s LSL wound uh, pickups, and they sound great. It's pretty close to a 60s output, um, staggered pull pieces. The, uh, the bridge pickup is a TV Jones Classic uh, Filtertron pickup, and that was kind of a new adventure for me. I had a buddy that had a really great uh, sounding Stratocaster and had a, a, a Filtertron in the back, and I just thought, well, that's... That's kind of provocative, and I ended up really digging it. So the, the next Strat I got, I wanted to make sure uh, it had a Filtertron in the back. Um, I've got it wired with a five-way switch, which is your typical Strat setup. The only thing I did differently, which, you know, I, I don't know that it's different, but uh, volume is obviously for all three. Tone, this tone is only for the middle pickup, and this back tone is only for the bridge. Now normally I would have that tone uh, work on both pickups, like on my, I've got a black uh, Satikoi as well, where I have the tone working on both pickups. Um, but in this case, I thought, man, I think I just want to leave uh, the neck position wide open and only adjust the tone on the, uh, the middle and back pickup. And so far it's, it's, it's been really cool. Uh, what else? Oh, the keys are uh, Cluson. They're just kind of the vintage uh, Cluson keys. And I, I dig them. They work fine. Um, the tremolo is a Wilk trem, Wilkinson trem with Wilkinson saddles. And it works really well. Now there are some tricks, like this stays in tune really well, but uh, there's a guy, uh, Carl Verheyen, who's a fabulous guitar player, but he does a little kind of teaching thing on how to properly set up a vintage trem so it'll stay in tune better. Um, this thing stays in tune really well for a vintage trem, but I don't dive bomb it either for the most part, so it, it might go out if I was to really treat it like it was a Floyd Rose or something. But uh, for the most part, it stays in tune uh, really well. And you can see I've got the springs adjusted accordingly. And like I said, you can check out, there's videos about how to do that. It really does work. Um, what else? Yeah, four bolt neck. Um, Lance uh, doesn't serial number his guitars, he names them. So this one's called Golden. Uh, my black one's actually called Tubby. Um, I think, I think that's all the specs. I don't know how it got so dinged up. I've only had it for a little bit, but boy, it's been through the, no. Um, this one's relic uh, They did a really nice job on the relicking. Uh, I'm really happy with how they did the, the checking and all the crazy tricks they, uh, they pulled out, you know, to get this thing to look this cool. So, uh, yeah, let's listen to it. Um, I'll start with just the, the neck position pickup and uh, go from there. I'm playing through my, uh, my D13 FTR37, that's what I used for the song. And I've got it set, you know, relatively clean. So this is the neck position. dig it it's a throaty kind of vintagey sounding pickup uh, let's listen to uh, you know let's just go right to the next position so now we're in the second position which is going to be the neck position and the middle position together I've got the tone wide open 
that's what I used for the opening of the uh, of that tune. Here, I'll turn on a delay real quick. It was the. Uh... sounding uh, for that type of stuff that's that's what I tend to use that for any sort of like uh, rhythm track um, you know works great in pop tracks and you know the next position is the middle position um, and I, I generally use that to take solos. Um. It's just got kind of a quack to it. And that's when I'll start actually rolling tone back. About there, I just roll it off maybe halfway. Here's all the way up. Sounds good, but if you want to take a little bit of that edge off, especially if you're using like a boost pedal, in general, I'll roll it back up if I'm going to play in the uh, in the positions. You know, the second position, I'll roll the tone back up. Okay, and then let's listen to the fourth position. Now it's a it's more interesting uh, because it'll it'll be a little bit fatter because there's a filter tron back here, and this is just the classic output. It's not like an overwound filter tron, but here's how the uh, the fourth position sounds. <laughs> some more kind of mids there. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I think it sounds great like that. Um, now let's listen to just the uh, the bridge position and I'll have I've got the tone wide open on that. clear and bright but it's not quite as as thin as like a, a regular kind of output uh, single coil pickup but it's not necessarily a humbucker or even a hotter p90 it's just got that classic kind of filter tron sound which i really dig and i like it especially for uh solo sounds like i can turn on a boost box and you know i kind of had the uh you know for the neck position and then what I was able to do is just roll the tone off just a little bit on that filter tron. So when I went from uh, to the bridge, it sounded really great. That's the thing, you've got tone controls on your guitar, use them. Um, you know, and I actually, I like the way it sounds with just an overdrive pedal as well. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, here's it off. Remember, I've got the tone rolled back a little bit. Here's the pedal. It's just a little fatter. Um, you know, it's it's not uh, like a tone I would, you know, say, oh, this is the only thing I'm going to use. But that's my whole idea behind what I did with this guitar is I wanted a different Strat. I wanted something, especially in the bridge, that I could use that would be different than a typical humbucker in the back, which I, I love, nothing against it, but, you know, something other than a typical humbucker in the back or just a straight kind of single coil thing. It's just a really unique sound. Um, it's, it's real organic and, you know, it's just, it's just a tone I dig. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I forgot anything on this guy. Um, if you've got uh, questions, you know, reach out to LSL. And as always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into my videos and, and checking out what I've got going and I've got more to come. So stay tuned. Thanks guys.